Hello and welcome again to Into a Dream. I already got to play the demo of this game, but this, my friends, is the full version. It is not the final version, it is the closed beta. Um, I'm a beta tester, which I'm really proud of. Thank you for letting me test your game, Philippe F. Thomas. And um, that means there could be some minor issues still, like some tiny bugs, some things that could still need a little bit of improvement, but uh, the dev told me it's pretty much the finished game and I'm allowed to record it, but it will be um, published on my channel after the game releases. So no spoilers for you. Um, let's dive into this. I've already tried whether it works with my uh, recording setting and everything, but we will start from zero. Delete saved game. That works as well. Can I choose this one now? Yes. Here we are, back in the forest. The first part, I think, is pretty similar to the demo, but let's see if we can spot some changes. Also, a um, last thing I'm gonna say beco before we start is uh, a, th a quick tri uh, how do you s how do we say that content warning I think this game is about depression probably suicide mental issues in general if you're sensitive to that probably don't watch or play it but let's see what it is about. I, I don't know, I don't, uh, I only know that what I saw in the demo and that what I read in the description. I... What is this place? Where am I? It's so... green. <laughs> Again, it is really weird to me that I don't voice the characters myself. I rarely play games where the characters are voiced, but I greatly enjoy it. And so far, all the voices that I heard, I have to press this key to climb. But all the voices that I heard are really fitting and really good, really good voice actors. Boing. The atmosphere is really nice in this forest. But there's a giant dandelion in the background. I didn't notice that in, a, in the demo. Why is it so giant? Um, shift and the arrow keys means I run. Oh, there's something that he can say. Wait, which was that again? C? Oh, great. A river. And I'm not the best swimmer. Always when those three dots are turning over my head, it means... Uh, there's a dialogue option or an action option, I think. This one means I can push that crate. Before I started recording, I absolutely fell in the water with the crate and drowned <laughs> because I was too hasty. So I have to be careful here. Whoop. And I remember from the demo, this thing being after the tape that's nailed to the tree here, but maybe that's just me. Maybe it was always here and I'm hallucinating. A radio. Oh, there's no signal here. It also seems to read those old cassettes, but there's none inside. Huh. Good that I know where to find one. I mean, this first part is obviously not blind because I played the demo and I know where most of the things are. Now I've got it. This, this is my inventory, the little cloud above my head. It's really cute. Also, the cassette kind of looks like it has a face. <laughs> Emoji cassette. Hello, John. My name is Dr. James Richards and this is Dr. Colomé. Hello, John. If you are hearing this, it means that the initial procedure went perfectly. We have linked your mind to the dream of a man named Luke Williams. As for your body, it is being kept safe, here, close to us. Luke has been diagnosed with severe depression. We have attempted several incursions into his dreams, but he has always detected our presence, gleaned our intentions and evaded us. The roots of his current state of depression are buried quite deep. This is where you come in, John. You see, you volunteered to help us with this one. We need to remind you that your own memories are inaccessible during the entire operation. 
it means that you won't remember who you are, nor recall these events after it all ends. But, whatever you do or do not remember, know this. We accepted your offer because you are the best in the field. John, your job is to track Luke and liberate him from whatever oppressive thought is weighing down on him. Set him free, John. You don't have much time. The longer he stays under, the easier it will be for him to... fade away. Time to get to work, John. You are his last hope. And his only one. I would wish you luck, but I doubt you need any of it. We'll be monitoring you closely and retract you instantly if the situation spirals out of control. One last thing. We will be out of contact for the duration of your mission. The technology is not quite fully mature yet. Right then. See you in a couple of hours. Hmm? I? What? What's happening here? What are you talking about? Wait, what the... What in God's name is going on? Whoa! Where are we going? Ah. You see, I played the demo like three weeks ago, but I forgot everything already. <laughs> no, but this dialogue right there, the setting, like that... I'm able to dream dive, I'll call it like that because I kind of like that expression. That reminds me a whole lot of Into the Moon, which is one of my favorite games. So that's really fitting. Oh, also, I just have to say it again. The music is so nice, the atmosphere, those little fireflies here. God damn, it's so good. Beautiful. Hello. Hello. Oh, good evening. Isn't it a little late for someone your age to be out all alone? Oh, our house is right over there. And you know, there are no dangerous creatures. Not in these woods. No wolves, bears, or even foxes. And my dad is right there at the porch. Oh, I didn't know anyone lived this deep in the woods. Oh, but we don't. This is our vacation house. Mom and Dad built it a couple of years ago. I love it out here. But I had no idea there were other houses around. Where is yours? Uh, my house... Now, the question is, will I go for the same options as in the demo, or will I deliberately choose the other ones? Yeah, why not choose the other ones? Well, if you walk that way for 30 minutes, you'll be standing in front of my house. Ooh! Do you have a hot tub? <laughs> oh, no, uh, I'm afraid I don't. That's too bad. It's a little chilly here sometimes. Well, what about you? What are you doing here, all alone, sitting on this wooden swing? Oh, you know, I love sitting here. My daddy and I built it. He attached these ropes to a branch on this tree and told me to find a wooden seat. I found this one by the waterfall. It fit perfectly. It was such a fun weekend. I love building stuff with my dad, and this is my favorite construction. Well, congratulations. You did a wonderful job. It really looks well built and fun. Thanks. So, you're just watching the stars on your spot? Yes. Well, and you know, waiting for Rufus. Rufus? Yes, you know, my dog. My parents gave him for Christmas, two years ago. He's so lovely and little, and energetic. Oh, and uh, where's Rufus now? Oh, he sometimes wanders off by himself in the woods. You know, these woods are very, very safe. We put some lights around his collar, so he got even more excited than usual. Aren't you worried he might get lost? No! I mean, maybe a little. It's been more than an hour, I think. Can, can I ask you a big favor? Could you please get him back here if you happen to see him? Hmm, yes. I, I don't want to take the other option here, just because out of principle, no, no. Of course. Oh, thank you. I'm really getting worried now. He responds very well to his name, Rufus. You know, I picked it when he was still a little puppy. It's a creative name for a dog. Like, when I was a child, I named my guinea pigs. Yeah, also a weird name. Like, I always invented names when I was a kid. I named my guinea pig Gamalia, which is not a name that exists. And I named one of my other uh, stuffed animals Kamalia, which is like the same name but pronounced differently, but you would write it the same. I, why did I have that idea as a kid? It's really weird. Whoops. Oh, you picked a great name for him. 
Well, I'm going to continue my night hike and uh, I'll find your dog. Thanks. Mm -hmm. I will accept your quest, young lady. And <laughs> something that I didn't get while playing the demo because I'm really stupid with names. This is Luke, actually. This guy right here, her father, that is the guy in whose dream we are in. Hello, neighbor. Oh, my... I... Hello there. Sorry. I, I haven't seen anyone hereabouts in a while. You gave me quite a scare there. Oh, sorry about that. Uh, and for coming out of nowhere straight from the dark. I'm John Stevens. Hmm. I mean, the second option really makes no sense. So I I'll choose the first one again. I was just taking a night stroll in the wilderness when I spotted some bright lights ahead. I couldn't help checking them out. I wasn't aware anyone lived here. Ah, well, this is our country house, so to speak. We live in the city, but often come here on weekends and holidays. It's quite peaceful. Oh, indeed. I'm Luke, by the way. Luke Williams. Oh, nice to meet you, Luke. Is that your daughter? I yes, that's Anne. She's always up late playing with that little devil. Little devil? <laughs> That's what we call our dog. He simply loves the woods and Anne loves playing with him out here. So we just let her play on until late. I see. Aren't you afraid she might get injured or something? Well, kids should be able to fall, get some bruises and have fun in the wild. And this neck of the woods is as calm and uneventful as you would like. And besides, we can't protect our kids forever. Although, as parents, we always try to. <laughs> They're part of us, aren't they? Do you have children? No, I don't. I, I guess the opportunity never arose. It still might. Anyway, um, where are you staying? In a tent? Yes, it's about a quarter of an hour from here. <laughs> I'm staying for a couple of days. That's not the same story you told to, to little girl. I intend to some walking in the woods. Right then. Well, if you need anything, food, medicine, or just company, um, drop in any time. You know where we are. You're so kind, Luke. I'll probably pass here to say hello a couple of times. See you later. <laughs> Isn't it a bit weird to offer a stranger medicine? <laughs> I mean, probably, yeah, in this situation it makes sense because we're apparently far away from civilization. But yeah, I don't know. Also, I noticed the shooting star in the background that comes by every now and then. That's a really nice detail. I didn't notice the first time. That's also... There it was! It's also why it's good to read a book twice if you really liked it. You will notice small details that make the experience even better. And now here are those orange and brown leaves falling from the sky. We didn't have those in the previous... Oh, I can... I have an option here. Ah, oh, I love autumn. The leaves, yellow, orange and red, swirling through the air in a majestic pas de deux with the wind. Imagine if I got stuck in a wintry dream. Mushy snow all around me, my fingers and toes turning into ice, snotting stalactites. Gah! Down. Now I feel cold. I already already asked that myself the last time, but would you really feel cold if it were a dream? I try to remember. I think I never felt cold in a dream. Even when there was fire and I got burned, I never felt too hot or anything. But probably other people are different. Now, all this stuff, I already know how it works. I will tell you as soon as um, we are away from that part that's um, like it is in a demo. I think probably the first two episodes will be the same um, part of the story as in the demo. And a 
then uh, for the rest I will have to play blind. Okay, I already know that we have to, whoops, I have to jump to go on those stairs and to the waterfall. Does it say to waterfall or top waterfall? Top waterfall, probably the sign. I remember waterfall, it was really loud and I felt like I had to shout. My, that is a huge waterfall. It's indeed beautiful, but, but the noise this close is slightly unpleasant. Yeah, it's really loud. I've been to waterfalls before. It's it's okay for a couple of minutes, but living right next to a waterfall... Oh wait, I have to press C and push. And don't fall down with the box. Whoop. Yeah. Good job, John. He sounds like he's an older man, but he has a lot of strength for being an older man. Probably in, in a dream. You've got way more strength than in reality. I don't know. But like sw swinging from a rope like Tarzan, that's, that you need a lot of strength for that in your hands, arms. I could do that as a kid, I think, but now <laughs> without uh, training the arms, no, I don't think so. Ah, one thing that has changed from the demo is that in the demo we had stairs here. And those stairs didn't work out that well, when I remember correctly. So, we don't have stairs anymore. It's better. Oh, I can say something here. Water? Again? Well, at least I think this lake isn't deep enough for me to drown. Oh yeah, thanks for telling me about the lake, because it's really bright here. I didn't even really see it. Oh, but I think I have to go into the water. Ugh. Now my clothes are drenched. Good that we're in a dream. I can jump really high. I'm a really sporty old dude. No, I'm not gonna call him old. It's probably not even that old. Older than me. <laughs> that doesn't mean old. <gasps> yes! It's my favorite animal so far in the game. It's, it's the duck and when you walk by it, it makes quack. <laughs> There's Rufus, the Christmas Rufus, dog. there you are. Oh, you're shaking. <laughs> Come here, boy. Come here! Oh, you're really afraid of me, aren't you? Uh, okay... How will I get you out of there? Mm, I, I already know how it works. I have to go back here... Quack. Grab the stick... And it doesn't indicate that you can interact with it, which makes it a bit more difficult. Quack. Oh, and now he's wagging his tail. That's such a nice detail because he sees that I've got the stick. Oops. Now wait. Yeah, this button. Uh -oh. Up here. This rock is very unstable. If it falls, I'll crush that little devil. Careful, John. True, true. But uh, as far as I know, it doesn't. There he goes. 